Hey friends. So, after the debacle that was the Rommel Rod, I'm gonna try something simple, easy, relaxing. I mean, the Rommel Rod's a, a simple project, but I was trying to put too much into it and I just screwed it up, but that's okay. We're gonna do a nice little easy project. Nothing hugely detailed, nothing crazy. We're going to build the JU87B2 Stuka. Stuka. Um, for some reason, this ugly thing is one of my favorite World War II aircraft. I mean, it's ugly, but I, it is it is pretty interesting. So, we're gonna build the Stuka. Um, this is a tester's kit that I got at a flea market for like five bucks. So, we're gonna build this today. Let's take a look at what we have. There's some packaging. Very nice pictures. I like the color. I really like the shatter pattern, so we're gonna go with that for the um, the camo style. We're gonna use the shatter pattern. Um, probably not gonna put nearly as much yellow on this one, but looks good. We'll work on it. Hang on. Let's see what we got. We've got instructions. Typical tester's instructions. We got the history, specifications, all that. And one page. Wow. I forgot how the old tester models were not the, uh, the best in the world. So, we've got an entire assembly but they're not really broken down into steps. So we're just gonna have to work on that. Not a big deal. We got a black and white color key. Uh, I'm gonna go with my own shatter pattern. And uh, so they're doing the light blue under the wings, black green, dark green, and insignia yellow. Um, I'm gonna add probably a third color in there, which is the uh, Luftwaffe green, the dark green and the gray, which will be a three-tone shatter pattern. And we'll probably stick with the uh, the light blue or the light or the pale white for the underbelly. And so well, there's a solid green. So there we go. Now let's take a look at what we have. The uh, decals look pretty good. Not bad. Probably still good. And still sealed in the box. Where are my... I don't have my scissors, so we'll just use the good old finger slicer. There we go. Get that out of the way. And, oops, let's go, there we go. We have what looks like three total sprues. Nope, four total sprues. There's, all right, so we got the clear plastic. Nah, that looks pretty good. Nice, good detail. We'll be masking that off. That looks nice. I like that. We've got the fuselage. Some very nice rivet detail in there. Uh, raised panel lines, but you know, what are you going to do? The rivets are very, yeah, they're, they're there. You can feel them. They're nice. Let's see it. We have 
Okay, so the Stuka could carry a 1,000 pound bomb or a 500 pound bomb and four um, 150 pounders. And this one's loadout is with the 500 and the four 150s. So that's what we'll be modeling. Uh, we got the seats. Not a lot of detail for the interior, obviously. Very, very little in detail. So we're, we'll play with that just a little bit. And I do not see a pilot or gunner. So. For as old as this kid is, there's not a lot of flash. A little bit on the bottom there. So a little cleanup's gonna have to be done. Aero brakes. Wings look nice, they have some good detail. Yeah, all right. So, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna give this a nice uh, base coat of primer, and then we'll do the assembly work. And that will be our project for today. So, hold tight, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so everything is primed. I got the uh, interior, the off green that I wanna use. I got the seats painted. I got the, what little there is of the instrument panel dotted with some uh, silver there. I have a couple of Luftwaffe figures from another set that I'm going to cut off and fit into the pilot seat. They're not detailed. I didn't go to a lot of trouble because you're not really going to see them, but hey, you know, at least I'll have crew members in the plane. So let's, uh, let's get down to the assembly.
And there we are. One tiny little Stuka bomber. Remember how I said I wanted to do a nice, simple, relaxing project? I was wrong. This kit is rough. Very, very, very rough to do. As you can see, there was an enormous gap that I've puttied in along the cowling. There's no guide holes for any of the um, wing or the air brakes to mount to the wing or to the air brake itself. No guide holes, nothing. So there's a lot of fiddling, a lot of fighting to get those in place. Um, there's no fit holes for the struts for the rear stabilizers. There's a mark, there's a hole, well, there's an indent on the stabilizer, but no spots on the fuselage itself. Same way with the forward air brakes. There's little markings on the wing where it should go, but there's no guide holes for it at all. So, yeah, this, this was a quick build, but it's not a good one. Um, I modeled the bomb in, in, its slung, in a forward sling. So it's in the middle of dropping because I'm going to mount it on a board at its 85 degree angle dive. But all that's left now is cleanup. Now, with these instructions the way they are, I'm going to bring this up closer to you. So with these instructions... There's really, it's really difficult to figure out where things go. I've got a couple leftover pieces, number 29 here, which after looking over things over and over and over again, probably went back here behind the, um, the interior of the fuselage to block off the back. I really don't know. I can't tell, according to this instruction, where it goes. Um, the other piece I have left over is um, the joystick for the aircraft itself, which is okay because with the pilot there, the joystick wouldn't have fit. The other things I have left... Um, that still need to be mounted, but have to wait until the end, is the little machine gun, the canopy antenna, and the siren blades, or these are the props for the si or sirens that need to go on. They are extremely fragile. This one's actually trying to break now. I'm going to add some glue and see if I can't harden those up a little bit but I won't mount those until the very last second so what am I going to do next I'm going to clean up all this glue that's left over from trying to mount these support braces I am going to clean up the struts area I am going to clean up the putty up here once that's done, I'll go ahead and fill some of these the seams around the wings. You could get either the top edge of the wing to fit seamlessly or the bottom edge. You could not get both. So I'm going to leave, I left the bottom oh, with a little bit more distinct line. We're going to clean up all that. And then I'm going to give it its base paint and its camouflage. So... Oh, and then we're going to, of course, mask off the canopy and do it as well. So, that's where we're at. Um, as always, like and subscribe. I appreciate you all. Um, have a nice day. I hope you all are having a good summer. And uh, as always, keep on modeling. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.